Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel. Today we have a game from the online ladder, from the top of the online ladder on the brand new patch of Age of Empires 4 released today. And we have on the color orange immediately moving to the pond in the middle. It's give you anxiety playing as the English versus Belage in the color red playing as one of my favorite civilizations, the Malians. The map is Himeyama. Welcome back, Himeyama. I think Himeyama was on the ranked pool two seasons ago, if I'm not mistaken. And now it's back to great shows us with, with its presence. And it's very usual for the English player to go down here to the middle and grab some of the fishing because it cannot be denied in the in the dark age because the english villager will shoot the bow so if somebody is also building the dock you just push them away so it's always always very safe for our english player over there Jewel scouting around to get some sheep remember the sheep now they have less food only 200 food Instead of 250. Oh, look at that. Great for our Malian player. Deer and boar all together. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, guys. If you enjoy the content. And use the links down below to find me and GOA. And also Bleach. Live on Twitch. That's true. And also, guys, remember that the fishing was nerfed. Now a boat takes 30 seconds instead of 25 to produce. So going for fishing, especially on these hybrid maps, might not be like 100% the choice right now. There is more time to punish and respond to the enemy going fishing, right? I think especially Avast and, and Ayubits will have a great time and then stopping the fishing, and I think people will stop to go for fish the first thing they do in the game against the boss and the Ubits, because they can just stage up super quickly, build a ram and take your dock, and then it just you you had like two boats or something. You, your investment is maybe it's not even worth it building another dock, you know what I'm saying? Ah, cheeky locations for the sheep for the ships over there, right? Look at them. Hiding in the corner, like what the hell? Show up. I always like to check the combinations. Sipahi, Arbaletier, on the other one, Musofadi. Oh, stealing from the enemy, huh? And some camel archers. Maldian doing the typical. I was on the pit mine. Mansa quarry coming in. Oh, yeah, now Maldian boats also deliver gold with uh, the food. But you can't go against the English player, right? It's off limits. Council Hall coming in. I have some Twitch chat viewers that they love. They love the Council Hall. So with this makes sense, right? You have food on the water. You want you also want to protect this. And you want to punish Maldians. Because Malian economy is on par or sometimes even stronger than the um, English 2TC economy, right? So instead of relying on out economying your opponent, you go and kill that economy with your longbows, right? A lot of wood for bleach. Looking to build more houses. Oh, the second pit mine very close to the first pit mine, actually. Maybe a Saharan trade work will be the play here, but Bleach did not know about the Council Hall or give you anxiety. He's now coming in with his scout, showing up. And it could be a warrior scout. No, just a normal scout. And now confirms the... On Steel Hall, and now we're gonna need the reaction from Bleach. He cannot just go fast castle. He needs to make units, he needs to make javelin throwers. 
Crabstone Sulpus. Perhaps he's even his own archers, right? Yeah, typical one fishing ship per pond. The villager gets on the other pond. It's running low. 300, 300. No, no, it's good, it's good. It's still a lot of food in here. First longbow gets detected. Twitch chat agreeing with my Sahara Internet Network position there. But I think it lacked some information for Bleach. First longbow arrives. Bleach is under fire. Nobody on the first pit mine. Nobody on the second pit mine. Javelin throwers coming out. 1v1 fight easy. GG easy for the javelin thrower. But Longbow can kite. 7 tiles range. 6 tiles range. It's tough to do, but you can do it. But it will take so many shots to kill a javelin thrower. Because they have 3 ranged armor. The, the Longbow have 0. So they're taking 3 damage. While the Longbow is taking 12 damage. But they attack really, really fast. And you can see... Three longbows already owning the javelin thrower, so not real easy to compete early on in the game, right? And javelin throwers, they are this weird unit, they have this middle ground. You don't want a low amount of javelin throwers, but you also you don't want a big amount of javelin throwers, right? There you go, first longbow goes down. But the first jab will go down too, that's not good news for Bleach in this timing. Bleach doing the work, killing the last longbow. I mean, last 34 more coming in. It's the Council Hall, it doesn't stop. It won't stop. Spearman also under pressure. Spearman is actually, in these occasions, are kinda good. Because you force the javelin thrower to go back or to at least pay some attention. To the Spearman, because if you don't, you will lose more damage than you needed. Right, so that can perturb the action. But I'm loving these mini fight skirmish in the Feudal Age. I love the games that start like that and then scale to Imperial. We fight in all the way. Welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing today? Remember to watch this on YouTube. Javelin goes down to the scout almost again. It was almost the second Javelin that the scout got. That scout is on fire. I still want the MVP tab, like the, the unit that, that did most kills or something, or an ability for you to know, to know what the unit killed. And look, it's not easy. The four longbows will own one Javelin thrower, but now four Javelin throwers, and suddenly the, the waves have turned, the tides have turned. Nine longbows. It's live indeed, live from the online ladder, first day of the new patch from 19th, 18th of July 2024, summer, it's hot, the patch is hot. Oh, cow boom is starting to arrive, we love to see that, Ilalu in chat guys, Ilalu in chat. English tower coming up. Providing network of castles, granting an attack speed of 20% to the English player. Bleach is forced to retreat. He needs to mess... <gasps> Bleach has no gold to work with! It was good in terms of economy, this position, but it was bad in terms of, of defense ability. Because now, he can't mine gold. Because if he had a mine on the other side, it could always go there. But not now. Uh oh. Uh, time for. Wait, we got some. Yeah, we still have the passive gold for Bleach. Bleach, eh? Bridge. So four Javelin throwers coming in. Oh, also, no blacksmith upgrades for Bleach coming in now. Range defense. I think range defense is, is, is the right choice here. You already do a lot of damage with your uh, javelins. Plus one will not change much there, right? 
I think it's more important because the attack slower is to survive longer, right? Oh, Javelin Thrower? You can see the difference, right? Three Longbows don't own one Javelin Thrower anymore. But still, it's. I think it's still a bad trade for Bleach, right? He's paying 80-40, but it's 40 gold, versus the Longbow where you're paying 40-50. So, 90 resources for one and here 120 but also from those 120 most of it is not most maybe all of it maybe not right now but later in the game will be passive right plus active gathering but you need to invest into the passive gathering so yeah i know guys like that it balances itself out Apareta, I love the Malin's voice line, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which are your favorite voice lines in different parts for. Oh, the English wave is getting bigger and bigger, guys. 22 longbows, 7 spearmen, and the dreaded feudal age man at arm is starting to hit the field. Let's see the echo for GUA. Only one set of English farms. No deer. Oh, because he has the fishing. That's true. I forgot about that. Fishing running low. No, still plenty of food available. And some of the houses start to go down. That means that the passive income for uh, Bleach will start to run low. Twitch chat is asking why did not Bleach try to reclaim his gold? He was never able to get a good number of javelins to defeat the longbows, but now 25 javelins, that's a respectable number. I think they can two shot or at least three shot the men at arms. Oh, they don't have plus now plus one against the men at arms could do good difference there, right? But yeah, the men at arms are in danger, but if those numbers grow, oh, we can also go castle here. Is now. Stopping, stop this production, growing the bank, right? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah, probably too many vectors of attack open for Bleach to defend uh, efficiently. I agree with that. Which chant? Longbow's going down. Bleach with a good number. Oh! Villagers found on the berries! That's not good, and GOA is indeed going Castle Age. I think that will be bad news. Remember, the White Tower was nerfed in terms of they don't, they don't produce as it, it does not produce as fast as it did. It's gonna be the King's Palace. I think it makes sense. You don't wanna compete on one TC versus full cow boom. So, second TC comes real handy. And it's free! You just you have to jump anyway, right? So, here we go. Here we go, many times under threat. The javelins, I love seeing the javelins nailing down those uh, uh, many times. Oh, Ram is in here, trying to break the dock. Dock is going down. But wait, who, go, who goes down first? The dock or the Ram? The Ram is being targeted by a many times and the villager. The dock. Ah, I think the dock hangs on over there. And the javelins are chasing out the English army, but weird pathing around the market over there. King's Palace starts the production of villagers. Already two villagers ahead for give you anxiety. Nice quick wall here from Bleach to prevent this mini raid. But Bleach needs more food. These berries will run out really, really close in terms of time. And the cow boom, it's still not fully on. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth. And then we good. Because then you always want to be eating two cows. At least some players do it. I, I like to do that. Right. Oops. Men at arms into the berry bushes. They still feel the legend men at arms, by the way. They are early men at arms. 
Oh, wait, no. They start as Vanguard. My bad. I thought they were Dark Age many times. Never mind, never mind. Twitch chat saying that QA bought too much time? In a negative or a positive way? Bought for him, so yeah. In a positive way, I, I see. Yeah. Second TC is running. Huge farm transition is running. Fish is running out. Right. Castle Age many times are in here. Do they have the plus armor? Not yet. Not yet the armor clad, armor chad. Yeah, exactly. GOA delayed cow boom and the ca and castle age a lot. But it's still Maldin Eco. Don't on never underestimate Maldin Eco. Right? Grand Flurry Coral boosting the Maldin Eco. Do we have we do fertilization? Fertilization does not help hitting the cows faster, but helps the cow generation. Of passive food, and the, there is no answer really to these men at arms, right? Because armor clad is coming in now, mates. And that will mean that these lads will have a clad and they have plus two armor. So that little javelin will not do much. Now it still works pretty fine. Oh, but it's a tough kiting, it's a tough job. Stofas coming through. Stofas do plus three against infantry, so they will negate uh, the armor clad. Right? Good damage coming in. Sofas on the front line. Can they hold? Jump throwers hitting the longbows in the back. Good choice. Jump throwers are predicted to the elite status, but not plus one, not plus two. Uh oh. The sofas are going down. They they stood for very very long. They did great, but no. Network of brokennessness is online, and these men at are attacking faster. I think it's the end for Bleach. Imported armor surfers look so cool, I agree. I think it's the end for Bleach, guys. I think he does not hold. Hold! Hold! The Menatarm Umbers have dwindled, but more are coming in, I'm pretty sure. We need to switch to Musafadi, I think. But then Musafadi dies so quickly as well, and the longbows do extra damage on them. The sofas are reinforcing the front line. They are doing a great job. Look at them. They are actually kind of owning the men at arms. Men at arms still have the attack speed buff. It's ridiculous. The sofas are hanging on for their lives. No plus one attack as well. This could go much better if we had the upgrades, but not a lot of gold. Remember, Bleach was out of mineable gold. Not the gold is there, but not the opportunity to use so. And Twitch chat is just referring that no gold to mass Musafadi for Bleach. That's true. The the sofas are hanging on. Oh, we want an emergency keep. Yeah, keep here would be really really good for Bleach. Can we hold Gway on seventy one uh, villagers already? But remember the cows don't show there, so probably Bleach is on like. 70 eco as well. Villagers going down. These men at arms, they don't die, bro. Come on. Bro. We need that plus one for Bleach. Plus one attack, plus one armor. Something, something. We need something. Keep. We have the keep? No. The villagers had to evacuate. No keep. Uh oh. It's looking really bad. Bleach taking the deer to his east side. Oh, Relic's now being grabbed by GOA. Nice touch. Nice detail. Tower going down from GOA. Not really important. That tower is the important one. House is going down. So less passive gold for Bleach again. Only 266 per minute. This blessing came in as a curse. Oh, the Supers. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Stopus doing great work over here. The Springle placement is also helping. So first charging, look at the plus 3 versus infantry. Doing 23 damage. The armor is 6. So, hey, that's good damage. That's really good damage. That's 17 damage right there. 
Oh, but Spearman joined the party. They still feel like Spearman. They look just like, like Joe was working on the farm and just somebody just gave him a Spearman, a spear, right? Go fight for your queen. Oh, Archer's coming in. Poison Arrows could be a good upgrade because it ignores armor, but it's very, very expensive upgrade. 500 gold. Because the developers are expecting that you are actually mining gold as the Malians, right? Great game so far. Early, Bro, it started as an early engagement. Three longbows versus one javelin thrower. Now we have 10 sofas versus the world. 13 longbows, 13 spearmen, and 3 minute arms. Twitch chat really wants Bleach to switch into Musafadi, but there is no gold. Twitch chat also noticing that the income difference is massive. It's true. 2000 food per minute for the English player. Ay, ay, ay. 87 villagers. Oh my god, it's not looking good for Bleach, he's holding on. He's looking for a miracle, maybe a prayer, maybe some extra gold. And remember, Bleach does not have the third pit mine, right? And GOA with five relics, now capturing one sacred site. He's just setting the stone on the tomb to make a tombstone, right? <laughs> Can we survive, guys? Can we survive? The English army is penetrating the base of the Malians. Here we go. Sofa's engaging. Sofa's can't do much, the speedmen are a threat. I'm surprised we don't see crosses being added by GUA. But I guess you don't need it because of the speedman. Twitch chat asking about if Bleach knows about the King's Palace. We'll check it out in a second. Sofas are hanging on, guys, I have to admit. But Imperial Edge is in. For Joe. No! No! The ultimate cheese card. Berkshire on the base. This is not good. Bleach is going from uh, the, top, the border of the cliff to the bottom of the canyon. Bleach does not know, but he can assume about the King's Palace, that's correct. Berkshire is going up, guys. There is nothing they can do. The Sofas killed 16 villagers, but it's not enough. And now the Berkshire doing so much damage. The Sofas could look to go and kill some economy, but perhaps it's too late. Still a lot of, Ma of English units in the front of the Malin base. Sofa's going up. Secret site. Oh, I guess he moved the the monk. Secret site being contested over there. The English army is coming through. The pit mines and houses will be burned from the bridge. So access to gold will be denied. No, he's, get he's gathering some gold over there. Actually, can GUA see that? GUA does see that. That's true, that's true. Sacred Sight Timer activated. 10 minutes to go. Neutralize the Sacred Sight. Wololo, wololo. And the English raid keeps going. The Malian base is not safe, guys. Not at all. Did Bleach, did Bleach, did Bleach give up? Should we moving some of the villages around? So first trying to get some raids in. 
28 villagers have gone down so far. Bleach did some good damage, but I think it's too late. Still a 20 villager lead. GG gets called. Bleach does not hang on. Great game from GUA. Council Hall did give a lot more tempo than Abby and second DC will do here. GG, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. Use the links down below to find me, GUA, and Bleach live on Twitch. And let me know what you think about this new season of Age of Empires 4. Let's check at the economy count. Yeah, it was a good economy for Bleach until he lost a lot of his villagers. Military count was also very crazy. Uh, Bleach was able to actually hold on a little bit, but then to the end it was just a bit too much. In terms of economical numbers, 10k more food for Ble for GUA, 2k more gold for GUA, 2k more wood for GUA, and then Bleach, he did got the stone for the keep, but never dropped it. Guys, thank you for watching, see you on the next time.